I just got up. I uh, haven't even combed my hair yet. Um, 6.30 in the morning. And I'm up earlier than I planned on. I was going to get up around 8 to get ready to go camping. It's Labor Day. And I'm going to head to a popular campground at the coast called Bodega Bodega Bay. It's where they filmed the movie The Birds, Alfred Hitchcock. Um, I've never camped there before, so I'm really excited. And I'm, I'm really excited to be camping at the coast, which I don't think I have ever done. So I'm pretty excited. So I think because I'm so excited, that's why I got up earlier than I intended. Right, so I'm going to do another trip. I'm going to take you down with me this time. Um, since I'm on my way down, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump my compost. And so I have another... I don't think I can actually film and hold this and do the um, cart. It's too much. Okay, I figured out how to do it. I just put the compost in the cart. Okay, so. Oops. kind of like uh, packing up early and um, before all the other residents are up and about because then I don't have as many interruptions but um, everything takes a lot longer than you you know always plan on so I'm always glad to get an early start I'm gonna be stopping to show my niece my new RV and she has not seen it yet so that'll be fun okay got rid of the compost now I have a question for you seasoned RVers out there what do you do with your food scraps um, do you keep them in a separate container? What do you do? Because I won't have a garbage disposal and I'd rather not, you know, put them in a trash can where that, you know, can stink. So maybe I will bring that compost bin with me and use that for wet stuff and food scraps because it does have a lid on it and it's small enough to sit on the counter I guess we shall see I don't know counter space is at a premium so I don't know Here's my car. Okay. There's my blue eddies. And I got a 200 watt solar panel. How do you like my socks? I love them. <laughs> Haven't worn these in a while. 
Anybody know what artist this is? Uh, well, I will tell you. <laughs> it's uh, Laurel, Laurel Birch. She was a uh, famous... Um, you know, artist that did cats. And so I just loved her bold colors and joyfulness in her work. And so I own several pairs of her socks. And so they're fun to wear with some sandals in the summer. And I got a pretty full fridge at home. I went grocery shopping to get ready for my trip. And I uh, got some chicken, uh, chicken cutlets that are quick and easy to cook up for some protein. I made this um, fruit salad with some leftover fruit that I had on hand. It's got cantaloupe figs, basil, and honey. It's going to be yummy. Um, let's see what else. I've got some kale I need to cook up. It's about to spoil. Uh, I cut up some... I, oh, I know. I did uh, zucchini spiralized, you know, like into a spaghetti zucchini. So I'm going to do that with some fresh pesto that I made. I'm not able to have Parmesan cheese as it gives me really bad migraine headaches, so I make my pesto without Parmesan cheese, and it's fine without it as long as I add enough salt to it. Um, it tastes just like it had, you know, uh, parm cheese in it, so... That's good, because I love pesto. It's good on everything. Let's see, what else? What is this? Oh, yeah. I, I um, cooked some sweet potato yesterday and mashed it up, and I've got some maple syrup and butter on that. I've got lots of grapes for snacks. They're real sweet. And then I cut up a bunch of broccoli, baby broccoli, to saute, cut it up so small it's almost going to be rice-like, so rice broccoli. Um, what else did I, and I probably will make some salads. I cut up some veggies to have for snacks. Um, and I like to make my own salad dressing. Um, salad dressings have so many chemicals and preservatives in them, so I make my own. This has got to uh, thaw, but um, I made it with cherry juice and olive oil and a little bit of lemon juice, lime juice, salt, pepper, garlic. Um, you could add a little mustard to it, but um, I didn't have any on hand, so this will be good for salads. Um, oop, whoops, whoops. Um, I, you know, I went ahead and cut up some um, red onions ahead of time so they're ready to go, you know, so I don't have to be cutting those up. I just did whatever prep that I could. So, yeah, that's just a couple of nights, so that's good, and I'll bring my little Perrier mineral water. I have this quick stuff, organic quinoa brown rice with garlic. I like this. It's just has to be heated up for a few minutes. And I like this at night, um, herbal chai. It's made with rooibos. And so with that frothed milk and a little bit of maple syrup, yum. Gets sculpted down pretty quickly. So that'll be nice when I'm sitting at the water and I want something warm. And then I brought some butternut squash soup as well. So... That's what we got going on for our snacks. I found this cute little guy, Spoon Rest, at a uh, thrift shop the other day. 
He's going to look cute on my counter. I love owls. I'm excited to try this new seasoning out on my food. I just bought it uh, when I was in Mendocino with my niece recently. And it's um, got no salt. It is definitely very uh, fragrant. I love it. And it's supposed to be good on, on just about everything. Great in soup, salads, sauces, marinades, veggies, chicken, pizza, beef, croutons, pork, fish, and more. And it has basil, garlic, onion, oregano, marjoram, and sage. This is my egg holder that I got off of Amazon. I like it. Holds six eggs. Okay, got my cooler pretty packed here. They say the fuller the cooler is, the, the colder the food keeps. Uh-oh, can't close the lid. Get down, get down. Okay, let's see. <laughs> get in there, get in there. Yay! Closed, yay! Okay, well, I still have some food left to pack, so I'm going to use this little cool tote to do the rest of what I have. Uh, because the refrigerator takes a while, you know, to get to get uh, going on the rig. So I want to make sure my food stays good um, until it's cool enough. For many years, I've used these Debbie Meyer green bags, and they really do help keep produce fresher longer. And so... That will just fit in there. Hope I can get it closed. That's a bit tight. But should be able to do it. Okay, I did it. Got it all closed. Ready to go. Okay, well, I'm all packed up. Doing my last trip down to my car. And then I'm heading to the RV. So, I'm excited. I'll be honest that I'm feeling a little bit of trepidation um, uh, to be driving down to the coast. Um, I'm not sure about the roads getting there, how narrow they are and uh, windy they are, but I don't think they should be bad. If I recall, it's a pretty straight shot. That's why I booked um, this park, but I haven't ever been to this campground, so we'll see how it goes. I didn't want to book. There's a lot of wonderful campgrounds all along the Sonoma Coast and uh, Mendocino Coast, but you have to, you know, travel some pretty windy roads like Highway 1, which is gorgeous, but it's pretty windy and narrow in spots, and I'm not feeling confident enough to do that, so uh, I picked... Um, Bodega Bay because I believe it's going to be a pretty easy drive and straight shot but uh, I don't know for sure so just a little bit of trepidation I'm sure it's going to be fine but you know it's uh, that unfamiliar feeling and um, you know I'm still new at this so it's natural that I would feel some nervousness okay catch you later well I made it uh, lots of windy narrow busy roads because it's Labor Day so a lot of people were heading away from the coast and I was going in so it was a little a little trepidatious for me um, just arrived at the campsite now being that they have uh, a place for me to get some water because I'm low on fresh water um, there's not water at the actual campsite but there's supposed to be faucets all around the campground so hopefully I can find a faucet to fill up my water fresh water tank um, kind of find it all already by looking at the I overlander there's not a lot of places to get water so you need to plan well 
but I was on Highway 1 just now for a little bit and it was narrow and windy and crowded so it was a little busy. I had to actually turn around because uh, I missed my turn off and um, it was a little tight turn around and <laughs> had to go through a business parking lot and but I did it. It was fine but just a little scary. I'm still getting used to this that's for sure. I just pulled into my spot and uh I was able to, there's not any faucet right here at the campsite, however, there is one um, right over there, if you can see it. So I pulled up alongside that, and my hose was able to stretch far enough to get to it, and so I filled up my fresh water tank there. So I'm a happy camper. And so I backed into my site and um i leveled myself and this was an easy one because just the front had to be um lifted up so i didn't have to do the back wheels so that's a lot easier for me um let me show you a little bit of my view there's a really nice ocean breeze backed up to some trees and then the dunes are over there ah nice breeze coming in gosh wonderful and then lots of tree coverage on this side so privacy there and I got the window open to get some nice breeze coming in so this is going to be nice got my refrigerator going it's a little bit windy i don't think i'll put out the awning look perfect <laughs> I'm happy with my little rug that's good and so here's my my levelers so I think I got the flat tops and that seemed easier to get up onto so I'm glad I got those and uh, with that stopper it really helps a lot because then I don't go too far. So I have my Blue Eddy up here. Uh, I believe it's supposed to 800 watts and I have my um, New Wave induction stove plugged in. So this is my first time doing this and you have different settings 600 913 so i've got it on the 600 watts and so i want to just check and see you know how fast does this deplete um you know from 100 percent so it'll be interesting to see how that goes my campsite and it looks like there's a little trail that goes just, uh, just got here a little while ago so I'm still exploring and figuring it out but it looks like if I wanted to walk on the sand and dunes I could but there's lots of other great trails around here She is. I've decided to call her Bluebird. One of my commenters suggested it and I think it's perfect for, for her. So Bluebird it is. Uh, 
I am already like amazed because I'm so new to this and I've only done tent camping, mind you, and trailer camping that everything, well, I don't know about everything, but a lot of things uh, work, you know, like the water goes on and it's hot because I have the water heater on. And the other cool thing is the lights work. That's amazing to me. <laughs> it's the little things. It just is like uh, so um, amazing to me that kind of got wind swept my hair there. Um, it's amazing to me that even though I'm not on hookups, that I still can use some things. Uh, I'm going to check the battery now. Battery's completely charged, so I know how to do that. And, uh, yeah, I can use the shower if I want to. I uh, filled up my fresh water tank, like I said, so I could take a hot shower. Uh wash my hands in hot water. Like I said, I have lights. The refrigerator works. <laughs> it's just amazing to me. Um, the water heater works. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to be uh, working for the day. And I want to see how that goes because... I don't have any kind of inverter in here, so I'll be using my Blue Eddy to power all of my work equipment. So I want to see how that's going to go. Um, so that's kind of a thing I wanted to check out. Um, let's see here. I did not bring my printer because that takes up a lot of electrical power and a lot of space. So I thought, eh, this time I'm not bringing it. But, um... I'm sure I should be able to work just fine tomorrow. I've got three bars of 5G service here, so I can do my mobile hotspot. Um, so it's just so cool. I mean, this is such a huge improvement, <laughs> I have to admit, over my um, little trailer that I had. Because uh, it was so easy to just pull in here, um, get it leveled, and... Put the welcome mat out and that was that was all I had to do so so much easier than having to unhook the trailer and everything um, so I really am liking that and I like that it does feel like a little home in here and I have more privacy and I can stay inside here but it's it's just great it really I really love it Let me know if you guys have any suggestions but for right now this is my trash um, you know, I had this from my camping days, one of these uh, collapsible thingamajobbers, camp trash can. Um, the problem is I don't like that it's just open like that. That just seems to be inviting pests and smells. So eventually I want to get one with a lid on it. Um, that can help mitigate any smells. And like I was saying earlier, I've got to figure out what to do with uh, wet trash. But um, yeah, I'm loving my refrigerator. Got all my food in there already. Bought some hummus to uh, dip my carrots and um, cucumber in and yeah I love that I have all this space it's a cute six cubic foot refrigerator so it's really nice um, the Blue Eddy takes up a lot of counter space so it's gonna have to like get moved around obviously I can't keep it up there all the time I have it up there now because it's what's powering my induction cooktop 
Now, of course, I could use my propane stove, but um, I have found out in past camping trips that I seem to get migraine headaches from propane. Um, so I'm a little hesitant to use propane in uh, indoors like this. Um, and I have asthma too, so I just have to be careful. So that's why I got the induction cooktop. Um, occasionally I probably will use my oven because I do like to roast vegetables and uh, especially in the colder months so I bet you I will use that um, but that would just be occasional and that's okay occasional use is fine I can handle that but um, could be a little bit of a hassle to keep moving that blue eddy around um, yeah I'll have to figure out something else with that I'm not sure um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'm gonna go for a little walk. It's a called Doran, D-O-R-A-N Regional Park, run by the County of Sonoma. Uh, since I am a resident. Um, I'm paying about $45 a night. That's including all the fees. There's supposed to be a boardwalk here somewhere, but <laughs> I'm not seeing a boardwalk. Huh. Well, I'm not really wearing the right shoes to be on sand. Um, I thought there was a boardwalk, so I'm not wanting to walk on the sand. Um, let's try this way. It's funny how it's so much cooler at the coast. There's always a good ocean breeze. Still trying to find this boardwalk. I don't think there is any boardwalk um, other than just paths. I 
always amazed by the fact that you can live in an area like I have. I lived in the San Francisco Bay Area for 25 plus years and there's still so many places I have not been to or seen. I uh, never stayed at this campground. Um, not sure if I've even driven back in here. I've driven around other parts of Bodega Bay, but I don't think I've been back in here. Well, at least not recently. Okay, it looks like I finally found the boardwalk. It was, uh, I totally went in the opposite direction. Yeah, here we go. We got a, we have a boardwalk. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, no problem. Oh. This is definitely a boardwalk. Actually, I love boardwalks. Here in the Bay Area, they have at the ocean some boardwalks going down to the water, and it's really cool. What is that? Oh, that's a whale sculpture, I think. It's very cool. Yeah, it's a whale sculpture. Ah, so the snowy plover is rare. Oh, what a pretty bird. I think I saw them and they were really small. Oh, well, yeah, here it says, tiny, tough, and fragile. Oh, I feel like I'm like that, tough and fragile at the same time. They live on the beach year-round. Oh. So that's why they've given them some designated areas for them to live. I wonder if they know what their boundaries are. Probably do. Probably are smart and figured it out that this is where it's safe for us to be because there's no humans walking here. In 2020, Snowy plovers nested on Doran Beach, possibly for the first time in 60 years. To nest again, plovers will need peace and quiet. Oh, so this is just recent, four years ago. It's very cool. Okay, let's continue our walk on the boardwalk. Getting late in the day, my first night here. So according to this uh, display, the San Andreas fault line goes from about there and just goes right along there way out San Andreas fault line biggest one in California
going to clean my windows next, but I managed to get the val the corner valance off um, in the back here of my RV that I wanted to remove. This one, this side was hard to get in there and do it, but I did it. Thank God for those short, stubby uh, Phillips head screwdrivers because that's what saved me. I'm going to leave this top valance here, but I like it so much better without the corner valance, so I'm really happy I got that done. Some of the screws were in there so tight, I had to really put all my muscle, such as it is, into it. <laughs> um, a few of the screws were really tight, but I managed to do it, and to do it with such a short screw and in a weird angle was kind of challenging, but I just kept powering through it and encouraging myself and, you know, patience and determination paid off. So got that little task done. Now I need to go clean the windows. So here's a map that shows you Bodega Bay, Duran, Doran, I don't know how you say it, Doran Regional Park. I am staying in the Gull Campground. So as you can see, you know, I'm surrounded by water here on both sides, like a spit or jetty. I might uh, walk this trail tomorrow. Um, I have been on this bird walk trail up here and it's lovely. So I think I'll walk this in the morning down here on the Cheney Creek Trail and then around the ponds here. I think will be a really lovely walk in the morning. Those of you RVers that are seasoned RVers are going to laugh at me, but I can't help but be completely amazed by the fact that I have heat coming out of this vent here. Nice warm heat, quite warm heat coming out of that vent and that I have a thermostat here. I mean, this is, I'm gonna turn it off, it's getting too hot in here. But this is amazing to me that I've got heat and I've got AC, I mean AC when I need it. So this is incredible to me. I love it. I turned on the generator because I'm not in uh, hookups. And, uh, you know, it's, it's working okay, so I'm excited about that. So I'm trying this way of cooking, I just have it on my dinette table and then the battery is sitting there and that works too I'm enjoying my view to the pretty blue ocean there sparkling so pretty it's the next morning Not sure if you can hear them, but I can hear seals and sea lions in the distance barking. Also, the foghorn sound was going all not long, of course, and um, it was sometimes waking me up for some reason. It's not used to that sound, but I love the sound of the crashing waves, though. We have cypress, cypress trees here and Monterey pine trees here as well. I'm 
walking on the main road. I'm going to go try and do the coastal bird loop, which is a hike I have done before and enjoyed.
Can we say hello? All right. I love Goldens. I love Goldens. She loves the attention. That's what she oh, does. yeah. So this is the infamous Highway 1 in California that goes, oh gosh, I think it practically spans the entire state along the coastline. Um, it's particularly beautiful in the Big Sur area, but it's beautiful here too in Sonoma and Mendocino. There's a lot of these turnouts, and there's no sign saying that you can't camp there overnight. So from time to time I see vans and RVs and cars in the pullouts. And they seem to, uh, the cops seem to leave you alone. From what I've read online, anyways. Totally fogged in morning. The water is beyond that white. Okay, well, getting ready to leave now. Another camping trip under the belt. Um, it was uh, pretty successful, I would say. And uh, I learned a lot um, with, you know, with uh, camping without hookups. And, uh, yeah, I um, was a little surprised how my batteries went down a little faster than I thought they would, but uh, I think I need to clean the solar panels for one thing. Plus, I was parked under some trees, so that might be why. Um, I have to drive home now in a lot of fog. There's a lot of fog out there right now, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. Um, like I said before, it was kind of narrow 
windy roads to get here so um, I'm a little nervous about going on the, those roads when it's so foggy um, yeah so wish me luck all right bye for now thanks for watching